Building my very own bicycle wheel is something that I always wanted to do. Today, I got a chance to come to Winterbourne Bicycle Institute, one of the best bicycle schools in North America, to build my very first pair of carbon fiber wheel set. My instructor is the owner of the Bicycle Institute himself, Sky, who is a mountain bike racer, bike mechanic, and had been teaching bike mechanic class for over eight years. Before the start, I had to make sure that we have all the parts needed, including my carbon rims, the hubs, bladed spokes, as well as nipples. Afterwards, we started the process of measuring and calculating. We measured things such as effective rim diameter, rim thickness, center to flange distance, spoke code diameter. We confirmed our spoke had the correct length for the intended build parameters. Okay, Sky, now with all the measurements finished, what's our next step to get this wheel building started? Well, we've got to load that hub. Okay, it's going to be a fairly quick process. After that, we have to consider putting some sort of bread prep on those spokes. Okay, here we use boiled linseed oil. Uh, it sets up uh, pretty tacky at polymerizes as it dries and cures. Uh, it doesn't become brittle and crack over time or anything like that. Okay, perfect. And uh, once we prepare our spokes, what's our next step? We're going to actually have to lace the wheel from there. Okay, this is a fairly quick process, and following that, we're gonna bring the wheel up to tension using the true stand and a tensiometer. Okay, we have to look at the lateral and radial true of the wheel. Also make sure that that rim stays separate between the lock nuts of the hub. Now, the first step is loading the spokes into the hub. The first spoke, being the shorter one, is inserted to a hole in the three o'clock position of the upper flange. Then the second, being the longer spoke, is dropped through the lower flange in the first hole to the left of the already in placed first hole. Then the remaining spokes are dropped onto every other hole for both upper and lower flange. All right, now with all the spokes being laced, my next step is to dip them into the linseed oil. The reason being is it acts like a Loctite and holds everything into place and also holds the tension for longer, so let's get to it. After the spokes threads are lubricated, it comes to the next step of lacing the spokes into the rim. Once the first heads up spoke is laced, due to our two cross pattern, the second heads down spoke clockwise to the first spoke is being crossed under and laced onto the second spoke hole on the right of the first spoke. The same applies to the remaining spokes. Once all the spokes are laced, we bury the threads of all the nipples onto the spokes. All right, so I just added some working tension on the wheel. Before we go into the dishing, I just wanna make sure laterally true, so we're gonna laterally chew the wheel before we go to the next step. All right, now the first lateral chew is done. We're gonna do our first dish in order to make sure it's correctly side to side. Now it comes to the final part of our wheel building, the final chewing. Before we do the radial chew, we're gonna do the final lateral chew. So let's get to it. Building a wheel can be done by anyone. It is also a skill that can only be improved over time. To me, it was a very therapeutic process and I felt really proud of myself after seeing the fully assembled wheel. This is the two wheels that's finally completed. 
I'm so, so excited to uh, try them out on my bike. This whole process is actually really therapeutic and uh, it's very, very enjoyable. It could be a bit overwhelming with so many things to do, but once you follow the process, you will finally get a really nice hand-built wheel like this. Special thanks for Sky for helping me choosing the material and helping me build this wheel. If you guys wanna learn how to be a bike mechanic and even learn how to build a wheel, feel free to check out Winterborn Bicycle Institute. Now I'm just gonna put these wheels on my bike and see how much faster I can get. But until then, keep riding. <laughs>